What's up, everybody? We have a very cool episode here on Sprint Talks. Special guest, not a sprinter, but a double world champion. I wanted to say so many other things, but <laughs> I got like too excited. I'm just going to come out and say it. Chase Ely Hi. is in the building. <laughs> And she's not going to hey. throw me out the window. No. <laughs> well, they don't open. Or I, was, I, I might. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you're strong enough. Depends to, what you to, ask. To get me through there. If you really wanted to. If I really wanted to. But yeah. And and you're from the, this area. Because we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. For World in, or for U.S. Indoor Championships. Mm-hmm. To help us qualify for World Indoor Championships. Yep. Have you ever made a World Indoor team? Yeah, I did. Uh, Belgrade. Oh, did you like yeah. that one? I heard, I've heard yeah. mixed reviews. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> I got silver. <laughs> no one ever talks about that medal. <laughs> Dang. Well, we're gonna talk about it right now. Yeah, it it's, was. It was good. So that silver was it more silver than all the other silvers? Yeah, it was the silveriest silver of all silver. That's a lot of silver. Yeah. Is it actually made of silver? Like the metal? Like I know sometimes they know. plate the golds, but I don't know if they plate the silvers as well. I doubt it. It's probably just like nickel. <laughs> they probably just belt some dimes, and they're like, "There you go." <laughs> you know what? You know what's a crazy question that I get asked a lot? What? How much is, like, your medals worth? And I'm like, well, it all depends on who you ask. Yeah, it really does. If you ask a track person, I'm pretty sure they're going to say priceless. Yeah. If you watch, you know, somebody who only cares about basketball or who's, you know, only into La La Land. Don't, don't, go, don't go talking about that. You're going to get on ESPN again. <laughs> <Very chill. laughs> well, if I did it, it was all planned. <laughs> But yes, you're from this area, as you were telling me earlier. Um, yeah. what? Yeah, what is there to do out here in Albuquerque? There's not a lot. I mean, I'm from like a bit north of here. Okay. Um, and but I competed here like a lot, like um, in high school. So because the big schools are here, but um, not a lot to do. But everyone keeps asking me if I've been in a hot air balloon, and I have because that's one of the only things that's like cool. That you yeah, because they have like a yeah. like a hot air balloon like festival yeah, here, right fiesta the balloon fiesta that's like our coachella <laughs> stop it i swear like coachella we think it's everything you guys i got like three stages as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> for different <laughs> different, different types balloons. of all air balloons <laughs> yeah no there is like people have like custom crazy balloons like characters and stuff so have you cool. ever like uh i guess do do like like they hand make them i honestly don't know i was just like i just was there see them i'm like pretty you know <laughs> Fair I, don't, I feel like i don't know enough about the history as i should as a new mexican wow I don't know. so thanks for exposing me <laughs> now i'm never gonna get in the i don't know i feel like you're again. exposing yourself a little bit <laughs> that, don't know. blame this on me i could have been like they're handmade like <laughs> they they sew them by hand yeah they, they weave the baskets <laughs> <laughs> so getting a little more into why you are on this episode specifically we had an episode of Sprint Talks with Joseph Fambule. And, you know, we posted on Instagram and, you know, you said you wanted to be on there. Yeah. Um, I can't remember exactly what the comment said. said. I sprinted in high school. Does that still count? Can I be on the podcast? <laughs> it does count. <laughs> and I said, and you said, yeah. <laughs> I was what? like, okay, see you soon. <laughs> yes, it does count. Welcome to the show. Yeah. And you were saying earlier that you were a little worried that I forgot. <laughs> I did because I keep getting likes on it. Like I, I, I think I have more likes on that than half my Instagram posts on that comment. And so every time I'd get a like, I'd be like, hopefully that goes up on Noah's uh, little yeah, my notifications. notifications. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I like, saw it. I, yeah. See my name again and be like, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. It only took this long because, you know, I had. You don't love me. Yeah. We, I, <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> I hate you in every said, part yeah. of you. No, no, no. Uh, it was because this is the first time we've been to the same track meet since yeah. the season started. You know, I mean, we, I did say that I, uh, that did happen like right at the end of everything. So yeah. It wasn't anything like we recorded do. that in the middle of off season. Yeah. And, you know, I've th- we've done probably two more videos since then. So you are actually the third one since we've done that. And only one of those have been released so far. Oh, but, but then you're going to probably by the time this is the out. other one. <laughs> no, just hey, I mean, mine comes out tomorrow on blast exclusive. <laughs> I, you'd be surprised. People love. You know, crossovers. We did one with uh, uh, Total Runner Productions, and people went crazy for it. I just realized this is, like, the best crossover of all time. Like, throw sprints. Like, you never see it. You don't. You never see it. You don't. You you really don't. I don't think they think we even like you guys. We don't. 
It is track and field for a reason. You know, what's crazy is while I was like going through like the world youth and world juniors, most of my friends ended up being the throwers. Yeah, because we're cool. Yeah, you get you guys are very cool. <laughs> Even now, I everyone's like, I, I'll be like, oh, I said this to Noah or something. They'll be like, you know him, and I'm like, yeah, because I just force people to talk to me. So <laughs> I forced him to talk to me. <laughs> I was like, that's what you do. I was strong armed. <laughs> and I was like, uh, hey, you're gonna talk to me now because we're in this shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends now. Okay, bye. <laughs> so moving on into like regular life stuff. You're now married. I did just get married, yeah. Was Crazy. that like fun? Is marriage fun? It's fun. It's weird as an athlete though. Like, you can't pick a time. Like all the times are weird. Off season. Off season. September. But then like if you go right after, like it was like I think I had, you have like worlds. Mm -hmm. And so then I was like, okay. And then you had. Uh, Diamond, the League Diamond League final. It's like the mid-September. Yeah. So I took a couple of weeks off and went on like, you need a break. So mm -hmm. I was like, I went to Greece and then come back. And then it was like, oh, like train. But when do we go? And then my friend had a wedding. So I could. It, wow. It's a nightmare. So I was just like, I'm just going to get married in January. And then I had to meet a week later. <laughs> and it was fine. That is crazy. Because he says, where's your honeymoon? I said, in Germany on the track. You know, <laughs> that's what we do. Oh, so you guys haven't gone on your honeymoon No. Yet. Where do you want to go? Maldives. Maldives. Why? Because I, I don't go to Asia enough. I'm always in Europe, always in the Americas. Yeah. I want to go be at, like somewhere else. <laughs> I'm yeah, tired of it. I'm like, I want to go over there. I was trying to go to Bali or, um, in my off season, but um, I was supposed to be doing like a, a like a me and my brother and his girlfriend mm -hmm. and my girlfriend. We're going to, you know, couples yeah, retreat. Couples retreat. <laughs> and then he pulled the fast one on us and said, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to um, Mexico instead. Right. Uh I'll see you later. And you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Where to go? Cabo. We were a little, we were a little dumbfounded yeah. in the moment, very confused. But you know, we still had a good time in Jamaica. You went to, uh, I, th I think I saw you because is your girlfriend from Jamaica? Yes, she's from yeah. Jamaica. I want to go to Jamaica so bad. Hey, you are most oh. welcome. I was already with uh, uh, Duplantis. And he said, him and his girlfriend said that they want to go yeah. to Jamaica. I said, you come on down. I'll, that, I will now, get you right. We will get that, you right. That's the crossover. The yeah. jump, a jumper, a thrower, and a sprinter in a sprint to Jamaica. That sounds like the setup for a joke. <laughs> yeah, that's like the episode we need, though. Something. Some TV show. Yeah. Like a jumper, a thrower, and a sprinter go to Jamaica. Yeah. That's just the title of the episode. <laughs> so, you, so you got married and in January. Mm -hmm. So it's in the middle of training. And you're going to all these track meets, and you still you're gonna you're gonna go yeah on your honeymoon. I'm assuming this is gonna be after the Olympics. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Things, I mean it has to be, doesn't it? I mean it. You could always make the sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, I'll just be like, Yo, just don't what? go to Diamond uh, Diamond League finals. Yeah, right. Money. Not all of us yeah, have giant enough. contracts where we can buy Prada. Okay, some yeah. of us are throwers, and we only have bonuses to live off. <laughs> I wear Gucci too. Don't discriminate. <laughs> Sorry, luxury. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, I mean, I do understand that. Even my mom had to get married in the off season so because of go. the, so I could go to the wedding. Yeah. And so me and my brother could go to the wedding. So, so I do understand that. And even like, like I, the sacrifices we make, though. I right? know. It's, it's like you never really understand. Like, you know how it's going to affect you, but you don't understand how it's going to affect everybody yeah. else. Yeah. And now my mom, like, she lives by us, but it's like she's, She's like, okay, even coming here, like she's gonna come here tomorrow. But she came up to me. And she's like, okay, your your pops wants to go to Glasgow, but he also wants to go to the Olympics. Yeah. Like how, like you can't <laughs> you can't do all of them. Yeah. I'm just like, well, if I win, then I'll get prize money, and we can use that prize money yeah. to <laughs> get you to the track. Yeah, meet. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the goal, isn't it? Yeah, it's it, it's just like everyone has to like do hurdles around you, don't they? It's just part of it, like. Because I was telling, like, Mitch, my husband, and I was mm -hmm. like, I know that it's, like, a full-time job just being with me. Because it's like, like, now, hey, I'm going here. And then after Glasgow, I'm going to just go train. He I'm going to train America for, like, a month or mm -hmm. a month and a half. So it's just, like, okay, body your husband. Like, see you later. That's like, right. You train in Europe. Yeah, I train in the UK. Because I only have to fly, like, two hours. And you have to fly, like, 15. No, I, it's <laughs> not 15. <laughs> it's it's nine. It's nine to eight. It's a lot. It's not well, as not, much. What? I'd rather fly there than fly to LA. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know why, but I just cannot stand. Fly. Like, I, 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 it has to be so worth it. Like, I have to be right doing a bunch of photo shoots, like five commercials, and we got to yeah. stay there for a week. 
like, for me to think that this is worth it. I need to stack bread or I'm not going. No, truly. Yeah. Because I'm flying from one part of the country to the exact opposite. Yeah. And, and that's easily six hours. Yeah. And it's like not fun. Like it's domestic, isn't it? So it's never. Yeah. Like, it's never like it's not it's not a long, you know, business so you don't class. Get the you don't get the fancy shit. Yeah. So it's the same. It's the same. It's the same like hours, but you don't get the lay down bed. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So it's just, uh, this is, it just sucks as a trip. But, you know, have you found a difference between training in, you know, Europe versus the U.S.? Like, I know it's really, there's a huge difference between sprint training and the mm -hmm. philosophies. Would yeah. you say that the philosophies are also different? Oh, totally. Like, I find, like, throws in Europe are, like, they're still stuck in the old ways heavy. So, like, they it's don't understand ages. what, like, yeah, they don't understand what we do a lot. Um but it, it's chill. But the only thing I hate is like the UK is just so gray. Like I haven't, yep. seen the, <laughs> I haven't seen the sun in so long. Like I'm like, where's the sun, please? Like I just need some sun. But like the travel and everything was easier. I accidentally found a coach there. So like, what are you going to do? Like, like I said, sacrifices you make. I, I don't get to see my family and stuff. And it like breaks my heart. But like mm. my coach is there and I'm doing well, obviously. So yeah, they understand. But it's like part of it the like, sacrifices I don't people get what we sacrifice like normal life <laughs> very very small percentage yeah. well hopefully they'll learn a little more but if so knowing that they're kind of stuck in the stone age is that how your coach trains as well is he a little yeah. in that old school vibe yeah no i think his weight training is a bit like that so we we typically like work like my american angle with his like European English. Oh, sometimes. so you're bringing in some culture. Yeah. Bringing yeah. in some spice. Yeah, I get a little little salt bay on it. It <laughs> works great. But the throwing aspect, I think the at, at a certain level, the technique is pretty set. Mm -hmm. And you just need someone there to like kind of pick and pull. So like there's not really anything that he needs to do in the basics. So mm -hmm. the old school stuff wouldn't like affect It wouldn't me affect me. Yeah. Okay. It's the old stuff where they're just like what why do you do this? Like, why Why don't you bench 500 kilos? And I'm like, uh, I, number one, I'm not juiced out of my mind. And number two, yeah. I don't need to. It's a four kilo little ball. <laughs> like, what, a, what yeah, do I need no. to bench a bunch of weight for? I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm bleh, glad. <laughs> <laughs> we can see that. <laughs> I'm glad you brought up the weight of the ball. I heard that they're actually going to change the weight of the female shot put. They're talking about it. We don't really want them to, though. I don't think they know. So their biggest thing is they think the entertainment value is too low because we're not throwing as far as the men. But I think the entertainment value is low because it's hard anyway being a female athlete like mm -hmm. to gain like a bit of traction and stuff. But also, like to me, the men are more entertaining with like the way they are. They're a bit more out there. They're yelling. They're running around doing i mean I, i've heard y'all yell too <laughs> yeah like so we're getting there and that's why our entertainment value has gone up is mm -hmm. because we are getting a bit to be more showy like i yell i'm not afraid to run around we now have yemi she's a german girl she yes. jumps and runs and screams and like that's what you want people want to see that from you mm -hmm. like when you do your like thing mm -hmm. like that's part of it where people like they feel your excitement yeah so then they're like oh i love that it's you know? the showman aspect yeah of it. and i was like at the end of the day like we can't, this is a sport where like you have to like, well, we should just have to be good and then like get what we need. And it's like, that's not how this sport works. It just isn't. Uh, like, so, you, so you, so do you believe that even after changing it, it wouldn't gain what no. they believe to be the no. success rate that they're looking for? No one cares how far, like they're caring how far we're throwing in like regards to like what's happening now. So like me throwing 2070 is crazy. It's like the furthest throw in almost mm -hmm. a decade. That's cool. Like they like that. They yeah. don't need me to see see me throw 22 mm -hmm. but they like watching me compete because i'm a bit more fun and crazy and I'm, yeah i'm not afraid of that and and i think entertainment value is entertainment value it's not whether or not we're throwing 22 meters that's not what's going to make it entertaining i definitely agree <laughs> with you 100 yeah. percent. i mean i was going to bring it in a whole new direction but i i think that you describe it way better than i could have ever like thought they, to see it and that's why you're here yeah well if they make you run like 80 meters so that you could run faster than mm -hmm. whatever like that's not what yeah it's not it's not about. it's people, not taking care of the problem yeah people want to see you do good with what's there yeah they don't care like no one's looking at me and thinking i'm gonna throw like what 
a juiced up lady back in the 80s through. Yeah. Because it's like never going to happen. Like, let's just be honest. Like, it's just yeah. not going to happen. <laughs> we just need those. Uh, Drugs are dead. Isn't, isn't there somebody? I think there's like some billionaire that's trying to make like the, the like Olympic games that are like, Everybody drugs. can drugs, use drugs yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, cock it. That's so yeah. cool of it. Yeah, it I'm not. I'm not. Mad. I just ignore but it. But what can the cool. human body actually do? That's we're like we're showing you what the human body yeah, can do. Like the strong men, like that's always their thing because my, yeah. my husband was a strong man. So their thing is like. See, I knew he did something. Yeah. So there's like natty strong men, which people are like, oh, that's cool. Like how strong can someone get natural, mm-hmm. right? Oh, that's really cool. But then they want to see like the juice step dude. Yeah. Lifting a car over his head. Yeah. They're going to be more entertained Or that. pulling like a, a, a train. Yeah. But I think it's different with like athletics. Like you're seeing what like a natural true human body can do. Like yeah. that should be more interesting to you. It's an art form. Oh. What, but what can it actually do? We're showing you. Like what drugs is not what it can actually do. That's what it can do. It's enhanced. Drugs. Yeah. Like that's, that's not the human body. Yeah. yeah. I, I hate it. I think it's stupid. If they do it, I swear I'll, I'll have a meltdown. <laughs> I'll freak out. I mean, to be honest, I don't think people are going to. I don't even think he's going to find... First of all, if he finds the people, they're not going to be that good. No. And second, I don't know who he's going to get convinced this to be big enough to be seen, but... Well, no one... No one... I don't know. We wouldn't do it. No. And the people who you would need to do it are us. Yeah, you know that's I mean? true. And uh, the best yeah. of us is what's going to be the best. You need a lot of that. money to convince anybody to go yeah. there because you're basically giving up your contract mm-hmm. to be able to go over Two there. Mil, five mil. Five mil. That's that's, that's your that's number. That's a lot for me. That's your number. Yeah, five mil. Sure. That's a good. I'm sure. A bill. <laughs> <sighs> like seriously, what would be your number? Shoot, a hundred million. Yeah. No, no. Have to It'd think. have to be more because whatever I lose take, everything. not only that, whatever I take would mess up my body for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I really need mm-hmm. a shit ton of money yeah, like a to lot. think to myself, okay, if I catch a stroke at right. like am 50, I am, I gonna be, and- <laughs> am I going to be like satisfied with what I, what yeah. I did? Am I going to be able to set up my family up for the next generation? If you and, can have a family after it. Another oh, great there, point. There you go. Yeah, it... Maybe it would be a billion. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying like, now that you say that, I'm like, oh wait, never mind. I wouldn't take money for it because I don't want to mess up my body. Exactly. Like, I want to, I want to have kids. Too bad. I want to have kids. I want to be healthy. I want to yeah. run around with them. I want to be able to. Yeah. I don't want to be like I said. I want to be like Ronnie, like at forty, <laughs> like I broke my back. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't do it. That's just crazy. All right, let's get that into was some a fun. <laughs> yeah, let's get into some. <laughs> A little more light-hearted things. Um, me and my producer have been thinking up some random questions, and and one of the ones that we wanted to come up with you is: uh, Would you use a shot put as a we- a weapon? Like, in any, like if in you had a ho- somebody breaking into your home and they came in, are you grabbing the Glock or are you taking the ball? Well, I live in the UK, so I don't have a Glock, which is really depressing. So yeah, I'd grab my shot put. <laughs> I bet I could. Su- <laughs> And I don't, think I'd, I don't think I'd swing either. I think I'd throw. Because th- I have right at my front door, I have a closet. And at the, on the floor, just shot puts. So now that you say it, that probably is my most elite weapon I could have. What? How many, how many, how much ammunition do you have in that closet? I, I think about seven. That's enough, I think. I think one would be enough. Yeah. Unless you miss. And then unless you might I need miss, two. that's what I mean. But I think it, I'm wondering if I would like toss or if i would like actually just yeah. start Chuck- shot putting at their face i would know? imagine shot putting i feel like it'd be a little more like you'd aim a little better yeah and well, it would be more force i think i could aim in a short distance i could aim and hit something yeah. but i think what's funny is even if i miss i think someone would be like what was that and they would be like, like that almost killed me they would be like what was that and they would just run because they'd be like mm, they'd be was so that scared. a cannonball like yeah. get me out like they would be like no way like i'm not doing that yeah okay so <laughs> i like so i love your answer i think i'd be good no i think i'd be set okay so this is a a, a group discussion that we've been having do it cut the camera cut the cameras dead ass <laughs> fine i'll ask you it later we'll move on to the other group we have somebody in our group Oh yes, I've seen. I've heard that that they want to at like at every like take a national champion or a diamond league 
or whatever golden meat they want to see a normal person race against one of the professionals or have a lane like lane nine would be just for a normal person that's lit do that really yes that'd be hilarious you know what happens every time i race a normal person because they get they you know catch somebody with enough confidence yeah. and they'll be like no i can you know i can take you into like yeah like i've watched you you got a bad start i can i can handle you right Okay, buddy. I mean, I think line I it up. The first twenty, if I'm honest, it's like, yeah. it's the first step. You see their demeanor go from "I might have this" to utter <laughs> "I there is no possible way I will ever do that." Get yeah. a step on this person. That's how we are with the minute you hand them the shot. The shot. Then they go, "Oh," and you're like, "Yeah." It's like it's definitely go one on of those then. commercials, like you know, yeah, you got Daffy Duck. <laughs> right, right. Or like, um, I. I was about to say um, some nerdy stuff right there. I'm not gonna say that. I, I mean, if say, you like, got Rogley dropping his weights on the thing, and the... hey, I have a very good anime culture. The on my giant YouTube. explosion. I was like, that's what I need to wear when I throw shot put, and then that's what you should do. I I actually... want you to wear like the outfit. The only problem <laughs> with that is I have nowhere to put it. That's the hardest part. But I think that actually be. A lot more lit for have, you like, since you have your bags like next to you already. Yeah. Fair. Like that would be way cooler for you. I just think it'd be funny if you wore like an outfit and had the like weights on your legs. <laughs> I think it'd be You so actually, lit. you want to hear what my next intro is going to be? Oh God, what? So I just bought three blue eyes white dragons. I have one. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> I had to go buy the. I wasn't actually allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid, but I watched. But, but <laughs> I watched. It, it was demonic. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Jesus is not what you're touching that. Yeah. <laughs> Period. So, when the I'm also planning on buying Exodia. <laughs> <laughs> Every round, I am gonna pull from my <laughs> uniform. A piece of Exodia until we get to the finals where I just whip out all four. <laughs> Do it. That's so iconic. I feel like this would be pretty cool. That's I don't know. Iconic. I, I love that. I'm really I'm really feeling it. I love that. Though. And then one and then okay. finally I'll come out with my dual disc. <laughs> Cause it's time it. to do, 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 do. <laughs> Please. I need to see it. No, I have no idea where I put that dual disc. Oh, <laughs> Throw it to so a fan good. in the back. So good. Oh my god! I was like, "Jinx!" That's so <laughs> funny. That's so good. <laughs> All right, so it's settled. I'll do. I'll do Exodia, and you do Rock Lee. The perfect deal. Oh, USA's. Boy. Yeah. Olympic trials. Down, yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Okay. I'm holding this to you. I gotta do. Are you just gonna bomb? Finals. Off. I, I should get like proper like 50 kilo things so when I drop If them, it is put, proper kilo <laughs> and like film like with dust, like put chalk on them. I'm totally. Oh my gosh, that I'm would like, be so cool. <laughs> right before I first throw, just friggin'. <laughs> like I, that would be Ooh, so, I'm I would lose you. my mind. I'm telling you. I would lose my I'm mind if you do that. Here. I'm ready. I, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, moving on to the other one that's been going on in our. Now group. I have expectations. Oh gonna... yeah, there's the, people are gonna now gonna be watching you, y'all. Every hold comment. her to that <laughs> to make sure that when you're watching her at Olympic trials in June, that she drops the 50 kilo waist. I will. I'm gonna I'm gonna properly wear them too. I'm gonna it. try to be cool, but I'm gonna be like. <laughs> I might put fake ones on while I train, <laughs> and then like sneak in my bag and then put the yeah that, that for might my, be... for when then they call my name. No, I'll be like, yeah, a hundred percent. They'll probably yell at me and be like, "Go pick those up!" Like when I come through the the runway, I'll like drop them and I'll go to run, and they'll be like, "Can you pick your shit?" See, up? do they do the? Don't they usually do like when you guys are like right in front of the shop put? Sometimes, or... but I think for at Hayward they have us like come out that side bit. Okay, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so I I, I think I would do it there. All right, like I like right that too. when I'm about to come up. There. Yeah, I get you. I, think I, I, I might as well cut my hair into a bowl cut too. Like, <laughs> just have the. Like, I think you got to take that up with your husband. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm never having <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <Got> okay. Cameras. <laughs> Moving on. This is a this is one that our uh, one of our new athletes can. He's very committed to the idea that he can do this. Do you think you could take on a kangaroo? 
Like, no. can you pin a kangaroo? Absolutely not. Have you seen kangaroos? That's delts? what I say. <laughs> Have you seen their delts? They look like they're like it's bodybuilders. It's not just that. It's like. Yeah, you have the upper body, but the lower body is even the kicks. It's, it's even heavier. <laughs> their their legs are like that. He he truly <laughs> believes that he's gonna spear a kangaroo and knock it on his uh, on his. That, and I'm yeah. like, what about the tail? You know Joe Rogan? Have yeah. you ever? Oh seen? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the like his whole argument with like silverbacks versus black bears, and he's like, no, I, I don't know. So he has this whole conspiracy. It's like bears would like always win. Like even against a silverback, and people are like, "Come on, like a silverback would beat the crap out of a bear." Yeah, I don't. I like don't. that. That to me is like the question that you're asking now is like, "Could you beat a kangaroo?" Like, I mean, I like, don't think he could beat a kangaroo. Like, do you think a kangaroo could beat a bear? No. Do you think a silverback could beat a bear? See that one. See, it's like yeah. this question that no one can the, get right. Which type of bear? I think a black bear because they're the meaner ones, right? I thought the brown bears were meaner. Because I think if you curl up in a Why ball with a black bear, bear they'll leave you away. See, offensive. if it's a polar bear, now <laughs> we have a real... <laughs> not very, now we, not very PC, mm. Noah. <laughs> See, now, 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 now we have a serious... Now we have a serious topic. I'm telling you. If it's a, if it's a polar bear versus a, a... Well, polar bears are like starving to death, so I think they're pretty skinny now. <laughs> not all of them, but some of them. Moving. Like global, war, global warming. Yeah. Let's talk. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Here's the next one. Hang you on. didn't I, answer. You need to answer. I'm taking this. Black bear or silverback? Silverback. Mm. Mm. Joe Rogan's dang, canceling gosh. his podcast. Dang. I'm telling you it's hard, right? Oh, this is what is hard. Is that what it is? Did it's, you just Google the, it? He see, Googled I thought it. I thought it was brown bears. Mm. Um gosh, so my good. people. Great. I'm <laughs> just kidding. You know what? I am I, I actually I'll am, get canceled for I'm that. The, so is it is it a brown bear or is it a polar bear? Brown bear versus silverback. Polar bears' heads are too small, aren't I'm they? I'm going to go with the brown bear. I feel like they're more ferocious and their bite force would rip <laughs> into the fast. muscle. They are fast. Yeah. So, are, so are silverbacks. That's true. And they're very strong. But I just feel that all in all, the bear has more lethal tools. Like it has the claws. It has the, the bite force. It's extremely strong. It's extremely fast. I think I'm going to have to give it to the, to the bear. I think... I agree. Only because I think the way we picture silverbacks, because they're like bipedal, we just assume like he's going to put it in a headlock, but like it's not going to fight like yeah. a human just because it's bipedal. No. You know? And it will bite and it will yeah. claw and, and scratch and, and stuff, punch. But... but yeah, I just feel like the the claws of a bear is more suited for that. You can shoot a bear and it'll be like, don't do that. And oh, keep you, coming at you. Yeah, you don't want to shoot a bear. What you do is you should get like bear spray. <laughs> totally. Because it's a lot more. What I'm saying is you could shoot but, yeah. it and they'll look at you like, is that it? Like, nah, and you yeah. think that could anything could be that? What about if sharks could come on land? Could it beat a bear? If it could come on, so does that have feet? Yeah, like no, it's sh- not gonna beat a bear. <laughs> what about a bear in a river and a shark in a river? Could I the shark eat the bear? I think I'm still gonna take the bear. See, but I'm not. You I'm gonna take the tiger. I'm gonna take a tiger. Keep going. But I'm gonna take a tiger <laughs> over a bear. Oh, you just got canceled again. Your podcast canceled. <laughs> I'm getting canceled a lot today. <laughs> you came back on when you agreed, and now you're back off. I don't know. No, I'm definitely taking a like a. I couldn't beat a, a kangaroo t- though to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bend the kangaroo. Yeah, now that we're back on it, I okay. can't beat a kangaroo. <laughs> okay. Can you? No. You could. You could think you could outrun. I it. could barely beat a human. Could you outrun it? A kangaroo? I don't think so. I think they can get up to about 35 miles an hour. Jesus. So with the little hoppy crap they do. It's okay. a strong what about, the, what about the ostrich? Like an ostrich. Isn't that the one with the long neck? Yeah, it's, it's long, it's, yeah. No, it's, it's like what Kevin Hart was talking about when he was driving. And it it's was, not the fastest <laughs> land animal because like no, it is the fastest, the fastest land, land bird. Yes, it's the fastest <laughs> land bird. Uh, am I, I what? That. Am I racing it or am I trying to fight? You're to running the death? from it. I'm running from it. I'm gonna get caught. You reckon? Yeah, I can only run like 27 miles per hour. And, at, o- at, for, and only for, for like only, a short amount of time. Exactly. For only like 10 me- <laughs> for like for a 10 meter segment of 100 meters, I'm running 27 miles per hour. But also like you, I just picture you running away from it after 100 meters. You're like, yeah. And it's like, I'm so here. <laughs> and you're like, oh, right. <laughs> I just feel like, oh. I don't know why in my head I went after 100 meters. He's just going to go, wait, where am I? <laughs> I'm going to reach the, the line and forget what I was doing. Do you remember that comment I put 
That's another one that I have more likes on than half my Which posts. One? Okay, we're gonna get you some some more fans. I, so I commented. wait first first. <laughs> what what is your Instagram so so people can know to go follow you? Chasey Poo SP. <laughs> Chasey Poos. <laughs> did you make that? When did you make that up? <laughs> it was it was a poll actually. My my like one thousand followers picked it. I had like fourteen thousand. Uh, it was the funniest thing ever. I put this thing and it was for because everyone calls me Chasey Poo. So okay. then I wanted Chasey Poo SP for shot put or Chasey Poo shot. And so it was either Chasey Poos or Chasey Poos hot. And so I really wanted the other one, like, ee, you know, like funny. Yeah. But everyone chose Poos. So now people just call me Poos all the time. <laughs> well, at least you're very engaging with your crowd, <laughs> which is very important. I love, I love, we don't have a lot of them. So it's usually like There's for not us, a lot it's of like, us, but we're strong. Yeah, and <laughs> like, but we love each other. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> But no, I commented on your thing because you guys were running around the thing. Or it might have been your coach's thing. But you were running outside like on the grass. And I was like, there's a track right there. And everyone was like, she's hilarious. And I was like, I need to comment on Noah's stuff more so I can get famous. <laughs> Probably. I mean, the more engagement, I'm all for it. I mean, it landed you here. Yeah. Who, and who knows where this will land you? Yeah. yeah. Is there any I'm like. I'm going to be wearing Prada now. Is there any like, like photo shoot or magazine or like like exhibit you've ever wanted to do like this is like like i want to be on the body issue of espn that's not gonna happen with your actually with your, with i your was keg i <laughs> with your dad bod <laughs> it was i was actually supposed to do it and then covid hit yeah and then they didn't like your after covid bod ah, yeah. so you couldn't be on the body issue <laughs> <laughs> but it was, but have you had like especially like since do i the have Olympics, like a thing like yeah like that's like one of your like I really want this one to happen. I just want a makeup thing. Like mm. as, I'm so passionate about it, and I feel like I do like a lot of stuff. And so like I really want like a collaboration with some makeup company. Fancy? Yeah. Fancy. Yeah, really? Uh, yeah, it's good for like if you want to do my. I cover myself in Fenty highlighter. Plus, I love Rihanna. Oh. <laughs> don't don't we all? I love don't it. All. Yeah, I was thinking about getting the ASAP rip the bomb. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw that every guy on TikTok is getting it too, yeah, and, then, and I'm like, you uh, be basic. do I want to? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do I want to be basic? <laughs> Period. No, no. The... <laughs> okay. But yeah, I want like a makeup thing, but like, as like when you're like throwing, I feel like I've done like small stuff with Nike, and that's like huge for us because we don't get a lot of those. Because I just don't think people want to, or people don't really think about us when they think who they're gonna pick for a shoot, do they? Like, it's all it's, like it's so Trunch hard or the hot jumper yeah it's so hard I mean, <laughs> like like how do you market that like, maybe ink something inked because i'm freaking at it yo you know it'd be crazy if you actually went on like ink master yeah and they if you were one of the contestants that they actually um Literally, did a piece on i didn't even think about that i should look into that that's so crazy like you can't tell me double like Olympic, double bucks. world champion olympian right. Going yeah. in and like, yo, yeah. time me up. They will be all over that. Yeah, that's true. You definitely well, got I it. I don't, what if I get the worst tattoo of the day? I mean, <laughs> the crazy thing is that most of them as a whole are actually still pretty, they're good. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Like they're getting judged they're on by masters. Yeah. That's like us judging collegiates. I, the collegiates I are judge still them pretty every good. day. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> that's all I do is judge But them. they're still good. You know, yeah. you're, not, you're not getting beat by no average person. <sighs> at all now that you said it just made me think you're talking about training in europe i feel so bad like now that i'm friends with some of them if you go on their instagrams like americans are so evil in their comments they'll be like ran this today and people go we have high schoolers in the u.s running that and i'm always like yo <laughs> that's so rude you ever hit him with the i'm so sorry i'm always like i'm sorry we don't talk to her like we don't know <laughs> We don't know her. We don't know Brenda. We don't talk to her. Like, I'm like, oh my God. I feel so bad for them. Yeah. And they'll be like, you guys have some really good college kids. And I'm always like, yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, some yeah. of the best in the world. Yeah, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> have you, good luck, though. <laughs> have you, like, picked up a British accent? A little bit. I have some isms, like, in it. I say in it a lot. But that's because my husband says in it. And that's way. In it? It's crazy, in it. <laughs> it is. Crazy, in it. In it. <laughs> You know, he said it's Tuesday in it the other day, and I lost, I lost my mind. He goes, "It's Tuesday in it." I was like, "Yes, it is." 
All right, I'll meet you with one more wild question. This is a debate that's been going on in my training group. And this might be very simple for you. I, I find it a very simple question, but you'd be shocked with the people who don't agree. Is fish a meat? That's it. Is fish a meat? Um, what's the argument that it isn't? It's <laughs> seafood. <laughs> and seafood, seafood is, is not a meat? meat. We have two athletes that will fight you tooth and nail saying that fish is not a meat. It is. I agree. Uh, I, I don't get how you can argue that it's not. Oh, they go hard. They're like, because it's not in the meat section. It's in the seafood section. I'm like, but but the grocery store doesn't determine what is what. <laughs> it's just what he uses like, for his argument. And I'm telling you, this has been going on for four years. That's so crazy. <laughs> I hate that. That makes me. Mad. I hate that we're still talking <laughs> about it four me years so later. Bad. Oh my god. Can I ask you something though? I'd it's kind it. of important that I need to ask you. I'd love it. Okay, so if you could pick one athletics, like person, okay, to like represent our country in every Olympic sport, who would you pick? In every Olympic? So oh, like, like okay, like they one, have to be the most athletic to be able to do like any type of- Like one of our people, specifically. Like one, US? Yeah. Okay. To represent the US in every Olympic sport. Okay, I, I want to choose somebody who's pretty much all around athletic, I'm assuming. Hey, hey. It's hard. I'm right? not gonna go for a basketball player because beyond basketball, they're kind of they're usually. A Would you stop it? Me. Stop being stop. <laughs> football <laughs> players. The wide receivers are actually pretty versatile in a sense. You'll find the occasional track athlete who's all around, like like you Grant. Have, he's pretty you athletic. Pick out of track and field, me. What event? Me. You think you could do all of them? Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Swim. Yeah. I've done gymnastics. swimming. I've done gymnastics. I didn't I've mean to soccer. say like I've swim as if you couldn't swim, by the way. No, no. I, really no. <laughs> I didn't mean no. that. No. I meant like it's hard. <laughs> no, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I've done I've done almost every sport except for football in my lifetime. I'm you'd extremely do, athletic. You'd have to do the marathon. I'm fine with that. I couldn't. That's I could, where throwers I could do are what out. Like. Any running. Hey, if I trained for it, I know I could do it. You, you, I love that you said you. I honestly didn't think of a sprinter. I'm not gonna lie. Well, the, the I thing went is, pole vault. I went like really. I went for like pole, pole vault. How would they make it through the marathon? <laughs> no, not for like the marathon, but like gymnastics and like the way they train. They do a lot of stuff where they could do um, the different events. Like mm -hmm. they, I feel like they could hurdle. So I feel like they could do pretty all around okay in track. And then it's like they're swimming. They're sh like, what is it? Isn't there like shooting? Yeah, they're shooting. Oh, triathlon. Triathlon. Okay, yeah, you have fun with the triathlon. <laughs> I again, I, I know how to do all those things, and I have a yeah. very resilient body, and it adapts extremely quickly. And you know, if I trade, I can lose weight, and I can gain weight. Like, like, if I need to get strong, the only one that would really kill me is weightlifting. I was. Gonna I have say extremely. I think I had have really good form but the problem is i don't have the body mass to continuously but go up i think weight. you're going to be competing against someone who probably also like this is an olympics where everyone's fair only enough one person fair enough you know what i mean so like you're going to have weaknesses you just have to be better at the good your non-weaknesses you know what i mean yeah i'm definitely like a point me. system I'm definitely going with me period i'm not saying picky i'm not picking me i'm not volleyball I'm definitely beach volleyball regular volleyball See, badminton I, I table tennis volleyball Ski, well, that's, 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 that's winter. winter. Fire him. <laughs> what? One? I sent you one, and you that guy board? was so cool. No, I wish I did. Oh. I found this really cool I was going to cool say, snowboard. we are not supposed to do that. Hurt your knees. That's one of the sacrifices we make. No, yeah. I'm, I I don't snowboard. I haven't skied. I, I haven't so snowboarded, but I want to. My mom never let me ditch. She said, it's bad for your knees. Yeah. You want to be an athlete. And I was like, you're a horrible mom. And I'm like, I love you. <laughs> I'm like, I love you so much. Okay, we are definitely getting to the edge. We're probably going to have to edit some of these parts. Yeah, sorry. But let's find a topic. I told you to I forced him to talk. <laughs> the, pro the problem is, that's not even the problem. The problem is, I could talk. We could, we could do this all day. Yeah. Truly, we could do this all day. We and I love going, this stuff. Don't we? Probably. Yeah. We, we could definitely do another one. We're get goers. I mean, we we could do one for the Olympic trials. We'll do a re up on if we both commit to our whole, intros. I'm going to have a whole costume then for that one. I swear to God. 
I'm here for I'm it. I'm going to get a proper cosplay one, too. Like, not like a cheap Amazon one. Yes. I'm you could get you. one from Etsy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Custom. I'll okay. be like, I spent $500 on this, so this better work. <laughs> okay. We we touched on this slightly in the conversations that we've been having, and you were talking about how you believe that changing the shot put is not going to change the overall factor, and that you believe that there needs to be an entertainment aspect to it. How do you think you would be able to give that entertainment aspect if you had, you know, unlimited resources? See, that's what's hard is like, I don't even think it's resources. It's like the, I think as throwers, we don't really have that confidence. And mm. I'm, I'm trying to like build that, I feel like, by by like being who I am and trying to be like, it's okay to like, even if you, we, do, we don't have the most attention, it doesn't mean you have to, we have to be in the shell. Like, yeah. So it's kind of just helping to build the confidence of the young ones so that they hopefully start like showing out and showing up instead of just going and being, yeah. eh, you know, which is really happening. Like I get like, I love watching track and field. Like Same. I really do. Like any event, I'm always watching them. I love it. I love track and field. And so like, if there's nothing left, like finals left to watch, which half the time there's not because I've seen them all. I'll watch like high school stuff or like little college stuff and, mm. and they're really getting going. And so I'm just trying to keep doing what I do, which is like trying to just keep putting myself out there for them and show them it's okay, you know? <laughs> so I'm working on it. I'm trying. You're doing it. Doing You're it. You're doing it. <laughs> Proud of you. Thanks. Yeah, give a little fist bump right there. Yeah. 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 That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Um, and then some cheese for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I definitely want that to be our ender, but something kind of just slipped into my mind. And Jack, I'm going to have to ask you to move what we're about to talk to about into a different part of our conversation. What is the, um, gosh, I, I never, I didn't get to watch the WWE, mm -hmm. but right now there is a WWE wrestler whose daughter is actually doing really well. And yeah. I think she actually has the college number one shot put right now. Um, Brock Lesnar's daughter? Yes. Brock Lesnar's daughter. Yeah. Um, is she from this area? Or is she? F she goes to school in Colorado. So okay. she's not that far, but not they're not from here now. Yeah. So have you have you heard about her? Yeah. Well, I was DMing her and telling her. What? I, I said, why are you not here? And she's <laughs> like, what do you mean? I said, you have the second furthest row in the U.S. right now. Like, why aren't you here? And she was like, oh, I have like conference and all that. And I said, that's that college stuff that I just want to be like, like. No one cares if you're an NCAA champion, like when you go pro, like no that one is cares. true. Like it is amazing. It really is because it's one I, of the most competitive I love, championships. But I'm like, <laughs> I love how like you reached not only reached out, but you like were yeah. willing to tell her that because that might I mean, I'm assuming that she's her parents don't know the track world. They're not going to know. So we barely know the track world. <laughs> But giving her that little bit of information yeah. might change her whole perspective yeah. going down the line. So I mean, I love that you were able. Yeah, I just that you I were willing her. to do that. I said, "Hey, are you gonna come? Like you should." I'd love. I'd and love. She to was see like, her. "Do you think I should?" And I said, "Yeah, even 100%. if you're even if you make the team and you can't go because NCAs or something, or even if you like, you need the experience because once you graduate, if you're trying to get on the circuit, having the experience of just going to national mm -hmm. championships is good." Like, yeah. even if you don't do anything there, like, you need to feel how it feels to yeah. against the best in your country. Yeah. I definitely think she should show up to, like, a, to yeah. be honest, Olympic trials. She better. If she doesn't go to Olympic trials, I'll punch her. <laughs> <laughs> I will. And that's how we started <laughs> yeah. Hell in a Cell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brock Lesnar's going to be my DM. Like, I swear to God. I will. <laughs> All right, Chase. Thank you so much for yeah. coming. This has by far been one of my favorite favorites i mean to be honest all of them are my favorites favorite. i'm your favorite to say it 100 percent, you're my favorite and we didn't even get to talk enough about anime but that's in the next one for another episode two episode three exactly <laughs> once i'm your co-host <laughs> probably we'll be like conan and that and i'll be the like chunky guy <laughs> <laughs> the chunky fr the chunky funny friend that's yes me. chase you compete tomorrow yeah good luck Thank do you. you do better something that actually that my chiropractor says is he doesn't say good luck he says, run faster. So to you, I'm going to say, throw farther. I will. And do your best you. and have fun. Thanks for having me. Oh. I loved it. I'm so glad you could show up. Yeah. Everybody, thank you for showing up to another episode. Um, we are 
of course, very honored to have Chase Ely here. And we are going to make sure that her followers go up because there's no reason her comments on my page should be doing better than her post. So please go check her out. She's trying to push the sport by being herself. And that's the best way you can do it. Until next time, guys.